Hello Bennies and welcome back or to Woodland Bunny, a cozy space to talk books. I'll be honest, I haven't been in the best physical and mental health recently and I've just been struggling a little bit and I've been neglecting reading and that's how you 100% know that I am in fact and indeed struggling. And so I wanted to film and go on an adventure with you today of just trying to make myself feel a little bit better with no expectations or pressures because I am so inclined to always put that upon myself and I wanted to go on this adventure with you to hopefully make this serve as a reminder to you to try and take some pressure off yourself if you can and just be kind to yourself we're all doing the best that we can and I know I really often need that reminder so this is just going to be a hopefully relaxing adventure full of reading because that is the special interest here of course tea and just coziness so speaking of tea grab yourself a warming cup of tea in preparation for this adventure a cozy blanket and let's get to it friends and I can never choose what tea to have so let's see what I end up picking today. grateful and excited today because I recently hit a thousand subscribers in which it's just crazy and I know every YouTuber ever says this but I'm just internally grateful for your support and just for being here and showing up because without you this wouldn't exist. Um, but if you know me, you know how much I adore jelly cats. I have my whole collection behind me. So I decided today to go on an adventure, as you would have seen, to do some jelly cat shopping. So I decided to pick myself up two kind of presents to celebrate this momentous occasion. First of all, we have Callie the cat, in which is now the smallest jelly cat in my collection. She's so, so cute and so incredibly soft, and I'm so grateful and lucky to have bought her. But then I got the biggest jelly cat in my collection, who is right here, who came in a special bag, in which is Socks the Snow Leopard. He is so humongous. I don't think you realise how big he is, but he is so cuddly and so soft. And again, I I'm just so so grateful to have him. I adore my jelly cat. I am never really without one when I'm in the home. 
home. They just bring me so much comfort and calmness and joy. I just wanted to also say a massive, massive, humongous thank you because I wouldn't be here without you. Yeah, I wanted to share some of my joy with you um, because I'm just so grateful that you're here. <laughs> So I just realised that there hasn't been much reading in this vlog to say it's a vlog of me doing my favourite things and trying to go over struggling and hard time. I have just tested positive for COVID so please excuse if I sound gross and snotty and coffee etc etc. I'm not feeling the best so all the more reading to get some reading in. I started reading The Devil Makes Three in which I mentioned in my reading my winter TBR video because I read Not Good for Maidens by the same author. Um, so I've started it, I'm only a handful of pages into it. It seems really interesting so far, I believe it might be YA just from the writing style and how the narrator is acting, um, but I'm really intrigued to see how it progresses. It has a lot of books in it, and which is one of my favourite things when books have things about books within them, um, so I'm going to keep reading and I'll let you know how I get on with it and what themes are included and whether I recommend it, but yeah, that's start the reading because I am obviously wanting to read in a video full of my favourite things. I am also reading The Midnight Lie but I'm not going to include it in this vlog as it is my bunny's book colour pick for the month of December so it will have its own spoiler filled video. flying through this book. I'm 122 pages through it and it's so interesting. It has themes currently of the devil and books and magic woven in there. There is what I feel like is going to be an enemies to lovers relationship going on. It's set in what feels like a gothic -y school. All of these whimsical elements that um, I'm so intrigued to see how the story will progress. I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear today um, with Covid. I'm feeling really quite rough so having a good book to escape them to is really really helping and so far I definitely recommend this one I've still got a little bit to go I'm not halfway yet but yeah I'm so interested to see what happens next I just finished this one and it's a four star from me. This had themes of the devil, a magical library, private school, um, somewhat enemies to lovers and um, yeah it was just so good. It was a really quick pace with three POVs which included our two main protagonists who are the enemies to lovers within the scenario and then it had uh, the occasional point of view of the devil and basically this whole plot is our two protagonists release the devil from this magical library and they're just trying to reverse the spell so it's so intriguing. It reads so incredibly quick quickly just under 400 pages and I highly recommend it if any of those themes sound interesting to you because it was such a good read.